Don't give up on the childhood version of you. Don't give up on whoever you wanted to be, whatever you wanted to be when you were a child, third grade, second grade. Write the note. What you want to be when you grow up? An astronaut, a doctor, this, that, whatever. Somewhere along the way, they kill that magic, yo. Because they want us to be safe. They want us to, to exist and to conform and to fit in. That's what all of this stuff teaches us, how to fit in. Why the hell would I want to fit in when most people I know hate their lives? Why? A bunch of people telling telling me I should get married one day. Y'all hate y'all y'all hate y'all marriages. The divorce rate sixty percent. Bunch of people hate their jobs. They want to tell me to follow in that path so I can be safe and secure. No. You don't know what makes me feel alive. How you gonna tell me? When I was a kid, I wanted to be great. Now, great in what area? Don't matter. Because my standard remains the same. I know where I'm headed. Can't nobody tell me what, what makes my life worth it. Stop letting people tell you what makes your life worth it. It's because when you were a kid, you, you had dreams, you had goals, you had um, zest for life. And then reality hit. And they stripped it away and they said, you have to fit in this box. You got to fit in this box or you're going to put your family at risk or you're going to be to be out on the street or you're going to fail. Or you're going to this, that. Bunch of people that never did nothing. Bunch of people that haven't done anything they wanted to do. They live their entire lives to appease somebody else. Most people, you know, keep it a buck. Most people, you know, they do things to fit in they want the regular this regular that oh you gotta go to this school get this job you gotta do this you gotta no the hell i don't <laughs> why i do what i want to do i do what makes me feel like me you know how many people y'all like just walk around yo ask anybody like what do you, yo, what do you do with your life? What, what is your, even like, what's your passion outside of your regular job? Even if it, your regular job ain't your passion, right? But what's your, what do you do? How do you spend your time? You ask them if, if what they spend so much time doing, if they like it, half of them be like, nah, but it pays the bills. But they're doing nothing outside of that to change that. They're going to do that forever until they retire. Or you want to get a social security check. It's not going to exist. You want to work this, the bum job to you 75. Because it's safe. Because you got your family, the little picket fence, little house on the hill. No. No. You know it's a moon up there, right? <clears throat> a lot of stars, planets, galaxies. But you can't think that far. Metaphorically, you can't think that far. You see the top of a building and think the rooftop is the goal. You think the rooftop is just where it's at. My nigga, it's spaceships up there. Why you not trying to get in one? Because they told you you can't get into a spaceship. They told you that the spaceship's too dangerous. It's too risky. You might not make it back. You might fall. You might crash. And you're going to be on that same damn rooftop doing yoga 15 years from now. And I don't care if I grab the, the, the edge of the freaking wing propeller, whatever. If I grab the little joint to hold on to on the spaceship, if I'm barely holding on, I'm getting on that ship. I don't care what you say. Because the childhood version of you, they still in there sometimes. When I went to therapy, they told me. Yo, the way, think of the way you talk to yourself and how you've been dealing with yourself recently. When you think about the childhood version of Curtis, five years old, six years old, lost, misguided, going through a lot, seeing trauma. How would you speak to this kid if you right now were speaking to a five-year-old version of you? How would you speak to him? You'll pour everything into him. Encouragement, life, motivation, game, respect, integrity, honor, work ethic, hustle. So how you talking to yourself like that childhood version of you was just gone? They're not gone. They just locked in a closet somewhere. You, one day that closet got to open. 
And you don't want to be 85 and that door open. You like, damn, I ignored this nigga for 75 years. It's too late. Don't let it be too late, y'all. Stay aligned with that childhood version of you, man. Ambitious, hungry, having zest, having excitement for, for this beautiful experience, man. For real. Stop listening to these people that never did nothing outside that they wanted to do. If they take direction from everybody to live their entire life, to try to fit in the box, it's all chatting, man. That's all I got for y'all, yo. Stay up.